Here I'm using the Qtera ND YAG laser, which has a long wavelength of 1064 nanometers, which will safely treat darker skin types like Asian skin and black skins. It is also ideal for fair skinned clients with coarse dark hair. The Qtera ND YAG laser was the very first laser hair removal system that was approved by the FDA to use the term permanent hair removal, unlike other laser and IPL systems, which are just approved as a means of hair reduction only. For your comfort and skin protection, there is an inbuilt cooling copper plate, which glides over your skin before each laser pulse. You should avoid sunbathing for at least one month beforehand and avoid tanning your skin throughout the course of treatments. If you do have a tan, be it a real tan or a fake tan, the laser light will be absorbed into your skin and increase your risk of a burn. A tan also reduces your response to the laser treatment. A sunscreen is recommended on the treated area for four weeks afterwards if you are exposed to sunlight as you will be sun sensitive for four weeks afterwards. Waxing or plucking hairs is not permitted between treatments as a root must be present for the laser to work. Shaving or clipping or cutting is permitted as often as you wish. If you are booking in for a patch test and consultation and you have recently waxed the area you want to treat it, you must wait about three or four weeks to allow for some growth before having a patch test because we need to see the colour and the density of your hairs to assess your suitability for the treatment. To prepare for a laser hair removal treatment on a body area like legs, underarms or bikini line, you must shave the treatment area the day beforehand. Facial areas do not need to be shaved in advance as the hairs can be clipped by your laser technician on the day. The length of the treatment time for lower legs takes 20 minutes, for full legs including bikini line takes one hour, for chin about 10 minutes, for lip and chin area 15 minutes, for underarms 15 minutes, bikini line 15 to 20 minutes. An ideal client with coarse dark hair will typically need between 6 to 8 treatments to achieve up to 70 to 90% permanent reduction on a body area, whereas facial hair is normally less dark and less coarse, so it requires more treatments. To permanently reduce hair, the hair must be in the active stage of growth known as the anagen stage. Hairs that aren't in the anagen stage will definitely grow back and that is why repeated treatments are necessary. The number of hairs in the active anagen stage at any given time varies from 10 to 30% depending on the body site. Therefore, you can have a minimum of 10% and a maximum of 30% permanent reduction in a single treatment. This is why repeated treatments are necessary. It's very important to keep intervals between treatments constant as the aim is to get as many hairs in the active anagen stage as much as possible in order to kill off the maximum amount of hairs in a single session. So as soon as new hairs begin to grow and emerge from the skin, they are usually in this active stage of growth and treatment at this time is highly advisable. So keeping treatment intervals at the recommended interval is very important so that the laser can kill off the maximum amount of hairs in a given treatment. Otherwise, more treatments will be required. Aftercare advice includes no heat treatments is permitted for two days afterwards. That includes saunas, steam rooms, hot showers, baths and swimming. No makeup application is permitted for 24 hours afterwards with the exception of mineral makeup which can be applied immediately afterwards if desired. Sunscreen is essential on sun exposed areas for four weeks afterwards because you will be photosensitive for about a month post-op. Aloe vera gel may be applied to soothe your skin on the evening of the treatment. Shaving is permitted between treatments, but waxing and plucking is strictly prohibited. Sunbathing is not permitted between treatments and do not apply a fake tan 10 days prior to your treatment. You may apply a fake tan two days after your treatment if desired. Shaving your hairs prior to laser will not make your hair growth worse. Shaving is the same as clipping or trimming. Shaving cuts a hair shaft in two with a blade. Cutting a hair shaft in two can be done by shaving, cutting with a scissors or a clippers. 
If shaving could thicken a hair, therefore a person with fine hair on their head should have thicker hair from having it cut regularly. But of course, this is not the case. Fine hair always remain, remains fine, regardless of regular haircuts. The same applies to facial and body hair. Laser is not suitable during pregnancy because there have been no studies on pregnant women to assess any adverse effects. Laser is completely safe as it emits non-ionizing light, unlike sunbeds or x-rays which emits ionizing radiation which can split the DNA of our skin cells. For clients with a hormonal imbalance or polycystic ovarian syndrome, results cannot be guaranteed as it's possible that the underlying hormonal disorder could be triggering the hair growth. However, clients with hormonal disorders have had results with laser in the past, so it may be worth a try. You must inform the clinic of any new changes to your medical history, including pregnancy or new medication that may change during your course of laser treatments. You must also inform the clinic if you have been exposed to sunlight four weeks prior to your laser treatment, as laser is not permitted due to increased risk of sunburn. My Skin Clinic have two laser hair removal systems, the ProWave for light, fair-skinned clients and the ND YAG laser for dark-skinned clients. They are class 4 medical grade laser devices which will give you the best possible results with very little discomfort. Call My Skin Clinic to book your free laser hair removal patch test and consultation.